Good morning, sir. Today I'm going to be making an Arma tips video, because a lot of the time you'll have these tips videos and like they'll be like, oh, how to get 12 kills in Ultis Life and silly stuff like that. So to start off, um, if you go into the map, just got the map here, if you uh, double click, you can put a waypoint or a marker down here, so uh, everyone knows that, it's, it's cool, so. But what people may not know, and I didn't figure this out until like a thousand hours into the game, so if you hold shift on the map and you left click, to put like this little weird thing down here. It's a different icon compared to like a marker. So if we go back into the game and look on that hill, it's a waypoint. It'll tell us how far away that marker is on the map. So yeah. So say you have like an LZ, you put that waypoint down with shift and left click. It'll just tell you where it is, so yeah. And in order to delete it, you just look over it, you mouse over it, just you delete. So yeah, it's easier. So now I'm in the virtual arsenal, and currently my gun doesn't have a scope, so let's let's go ahead and equip one here. So I'm going to choose the DMS scope, so you just left click and drag to the green spot here, with, with, if you have a gun that'll accept the scope. So yeah, so I'm going to show you how to range find without like, you know, the actual range finder tool. So let's go ahead and go prone and deploy the weapon and all. So we have a guy out here, also you can zoom in now with the plus and minus keys on the numpad, you can change those. So. We have a guy over here, and there's on our scope, we have a graph looking thing at the bottom and like a line below that. And the line below that, here's how you can range find without, without the tool. So let's put the guy, so, so it looks like he's standing on the bottom line there. So make it look like that, see? So now we run him along like that, and like you can see the graph, it kind of it gradually like closes in almost. So run the guy or your target or whatever along the bottom line here until he like kind of intersects one of the top little notches there with the numbers. Now the numbers there, I forgot to mention, but now I will. The numbers, they represent range in meters away from you. So we can kind of tell this guy is 600 meters away. So let's adjust our zeroing using page up and page down. You can tell the top left. Oh, actually that's top right, excuse me. So right now it's at 400, let's up that to 600 using page up. Zoom in, we're good. So let's fire, let's see if we can hit him. So yeah, you can see we've got him, because we found out his range using uh, the scope here. Also, some scopes have little red dot sights on top of them, and it's not really straightforward on how you equip them, so I'll show you how to do that. So, you aim down your scope, and then you see all this it's normal scope thing, so hold control and do right click. And now you can see we're using the uh, little thing on top here. I think... If this if that command doesn't work, just do forward slash on the numpad and it should do it. So there's also another optic you can do this with. There's there's a bunch of them like the RCO optic you can do that. So but uh, there's also this one here. Now this one doesn't have a red dot sight on top at all. But you aim down the sight, it's zoomed in. It's not zoomed in by default for this one, but this is the default thing. So if I do control right click, see so yeah. Now one thing you can do with scopes like the Night Stalker or the uh, Night Vision Scope or the Thermal Weapon Sight, whatever you want to call it, if you press N, you have Night Vision and then Thermal Vision and all this stuff. So you can cycle through different vision modes depending on the scope it is. So if it's like you know a fancy thermal scope like this one, just do N. Switch through the vision modes. So you can also do this with the uh, Range Finder tool and also the, um, the Laser Designator. You can do that too, but this one, just aim down. You press N like with the scope or when you want to equip night vision goggles like normally, you just press N so you have a different night vision mode here. So right now it's night time here. You really can't see a thing without night vision, so so I have night vision on now obviously. It's very limited. You can't really see too far because it's a big circle, so but there's a way around this, so let me take it off. If I go into my inventory here, I have in my backpack the uh, the pilot helmet. Now this it, this is kind of cheap, like like using third person to shoot people level of cheap. But uh, if I go ahead and equip it, and I press N, I have full field of view night vision. So yeah, it's obviously it's obviously practical for flying, and it's even more so practical and cheap even to be using it as an infantry man. But yeah, it's it's kind of helpful if you're just lazy like me. So this next thing, um, I'm in the UAV terminal here, so I'm gonna do, I'm gonna select my UAV here. Now I'm gonna do control gunner. So now I'm in the, uh, the ca camera of the drone. It's moving around and all that, but if I do control and T, that'll lock the camera position, so I can't move it around the mouse. Um, if the drone were moving, it would stay viewing this position, so that's, that's good. It's good if you wanna just stay looking at something, even if it's moving around, obviously, so 
but it also work on vehicles. That's one thing people might not know. So do control and T on a vehicle or a person. It'll kind of like lock into position. So you can see it's locked. Can't move around. We tell him to move and you'll see. So see, he's moving around and the camera's following him. Again, if you want to unlock, you just do control T. You just lock on again with control T. Let's see if we can do it while he's moving. Uh, I guess I can't, but still. There you go. So now this next thing, it involves stances. So obviously you have, you have this, you have that, you, can, you have the uh, crouch and standing thing and prone. But if you hold control and do any of the movement keys, you have this stuff, which is A and D. And then if you do W and S, go up and down like this, take cover like that, and get on your ass like this, all that silly stuff. But also, if you, if you do control and A or, or D and then do Z, you're like this, you're on your back and you have a gun up this is this is this is where it's practical i'll show you so let's open the door here now let's say there's a bunch of enemies there we have, we have a target over there too as an example so i'll just do control and a and then z it's a bit of a fumble but yeah it's it'll help you'll see so now we've we've covered ourselves as much as possible but we can still shoot the enemy so let's try that see if i can get him so we got him and i'm gonna switch to the camera view so you can see from his perspective so here's the target we were shooting at, and if I move over here, in this door over here is where we shot him. It's very hard to tell where we are, so let me just go over here. See, we're a very, very small target, and we're not in any of the obvious positions, like a window or like standing in front of the doorway. We're a very, very small target, because we're prone and we're like that. But we still have the stability of being prone and all that stuff, so it's really easy to hit him, and we're also very concealed, so it'll help in an urban environment. So let's say you're playing King of the Hill or something, and you need to do some reconnaissance on the enemy. So this is the AAF vehicle, it's on the independent side, so it's the Strider. Now that's the commander vision, that's where the commander can see from obviously, and it's kind of low, you can't really see over barriers like that, I'll, I'll show you. So we have the picture-in-picture -picture display here, let's go into third person. You can't, you, it doesn't really go over the barrier here, let's go into the view. So we can't really see over it. But if you do Q or E, I think that's the default keys, this can go up and down. See? So it can have a very clever application. People might not see this or even think of it being here. So you, we can see the enemy just fine. Normally it's just like this. You can't see over. But if we do E, it'll go up. And Q makes it go down. So now I'm going to jet here over Altus, and I'm going to show you the same drone camera trick, but in a jet. So in order to go into the bomber vision of the jet, hold control and do right click. So now where you can see all over the sky here. Now there's the enemy base there. Now if you do if you do control and T, it'll say area. Now it's locked onto the area. The difference is you can move it around, and also you can lock onto vehicles from it. So I've locked onto the enemy tank there, so let's see if we can hit it. So it hit, and there goes the building, so yeah. So again, you just do control and right click, and you have the bomber vision here, and you do control and T to lock onto a position. So it'll follow that position, and if you move it over a vehicle, it'll lock on and follow the vehicle. So yeah. So if you have the uh, GPS item equipped here, and you do right control and M, that's, you know, right control, not left. So you do right control and M, you have this little pop-up menu here. So. Um, it has these three numbers here, these three sets of numbers. The first one is your grid coordinate, so um, move over here maybe. See, that, that number is going to update. So it went from 142 to 143. But continuing, um, this number here is your bearing, so like, you know, compass bearing, but in a number, and it, it updates automatically as opposed to a compass where you have it do this and it's kind of delayed a bit. And the final number is, it's not really relevant, but you have the time in a 24-hour clock, so yeah. Also, you can do the same thing with a UAV terminal, so it didn't go away at all. See, but if I take it off, it's gone. So if I have the UAV terminal or the GPS, I do right control and M to bring it up again. So yeah, there it is. So uh, that's about it for the video. I, I, I know it's not really too perfect or anything, because I don't do this often, but um, if it helped, uh, leave a like, and if you need any more help, just comment or something, so... Yeah. Thanks. See ya.